This is the gatehouse. It leads to many places. The vault where I stowed the scepter is one of those places. The Atlas skews you've collected serve as star charts of sorts, used to map and navigate ley lines back when they could be freely explored. Aldrin had been searching for Agar's scepter for some time when he made these. Another daring venture to win my affections against my better wishes. He often embedded travel logs into his skews. Here. Sister. I wonder when the spies you have following me will find these. Do you still walk the old paths we made? Mother's old tales come to mind. I've been adding to my favorite. The twin kestrels whose hearts beat as one. You'll have to tell me what you think when I return with the scepter. Mother Kestrel watched perfect daughter Riga as she plotted the infinite paths of the hollow, as if concocting a plan for each way it could grow. But with her son, Agar, Mother instead held him tight beneath her wing in the oak's hollow. She pointed starward and whispered warnings of dangerous storms and cosmic sojourners that carved chaos in the sky. The beautiful depth of the dark spots caught his eye. His imagination was arrested by them. Agar struggled against his mother's wing, yearning to leap from the tallest branch and soar to see the storms for himself. But Mother Kestrel's talon caught him. She scolded him to never leave the canopy. She held him in crushing closeness and vowed not to show him the stars again. He grew to resent her protection. If it is still unclear, the twin kestrels represent Aldrin and myself. Their mother is Osana Sav. Aldrin found Osana's prescriptions restrictive. I never considered her a mother myself, but her dreams of foresight interested me. We both saw Calamity looming, Osana and I. In the distributary, where the Awoken were born, we were eternal. Osana would hide there forever rather than face the enemy. When we left to form the Reef, many chose to hide with her. You're done here. I'll send for you when more skews reveal themselves.